Hello crafty friends, this is the Paper Chef here. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to cut out stamped images using your brother Scan and Cut. The stamp set we'll be using for this tutorial is called Beauty Abounds, and it's by Stampin' Up. It's a stamp set that's featured in our 2019 Occasions catalog. That's like our spring mini catalog. I'm just going to open up to the page because if you stick around to the end, I'm going to show you other projects I created using this Beauty Abound stamp set and the coordinating dies down here on the right side. Okay, so stick around and that'll be at the end. So for right now, what I'm going to do is I've already, uh, prior to this tutorial, I've already stamped sentiments from the stamp set that we're going to be cutting out with the Brother Scan and Cut. We're actually going to start with these butterflies, which are very simple. I've stamped those as well. And these were all stamped in the color called Blueberry Bushel. It's one of our in colors, meaning one of our current colors. And then to address a viewer question, I also cut out this long, sent, I mean not cut out, I did cut out, but I'm saying I also stamped this long sentiment here because one of my viewers, Frenchie, asked about how to cut out this complicated image here. So let's start out simple. We're going to start out, we're going to use the different techniques for each, for each kind of stamped image, meaning for this one, we're just going to go ahead and cut it out and add an outline distance. If you've been following my tutorials, then you, you're like, oh, Paper Chef, we know how to do this. Well, that's okay. So this will be a review. And then, then the sentiments, we'll do the sentiments next. And then we'll, we'll do the, then we'll work on this because we have to do some pencil work before we cut that out. Okay, I'm using the Scan and Cut 2 or the CM350 model of the Scan and Cut. Let's go ahead and just turn that on. I'm going to start from the beginning as I always do. And I know some of you are already experts by now, but that's okay. Sometimes there's little techniques to learn for each stamp set which are a little different than what you're used to. Okay, we start out. We, we turn on the machine. We have pattern and scan. We're going to select scan because we're going to scan the stamped images. We're selecting direct cut because we're directly cutting these out. We're not going to save them to our computer or to our machine. We're just directly cutting them out. This is a temporary storage area. Where do you want to store them? I just always store them on my machine temporarily. And black and white recognition mode because the images I showed you all have good contrast between the foreground and the background. It doesn't matter if they're in color or not. As long as there's good contrast, you can always choose black and white recognition mode. And we're just going to go ahead and now we need to load the mat. We need to put these on the mat first. As I mentioned, we're going to just do one at a time, starting with the butterflies. Okay, so we grab our mat and we're going to because I need to reach for my painter's tape. Painter's tape is my trick for getting things to stick on the mat, especially when you're scanning and you don't want things to slip out of place. So I'm just going to put my butterflies down. Never cover up the registration marks when you're scanning because the machine needs these to know exactly where everything is aligned. And I'm using a piece of painter's tape so that those images do not slip. I'm actually going to use one on the other side as well. Okay, so there we are. We just have a couple pieces of painter's tape. You can also use a brayer. Okay, that's like a brother scan and cut brayer. In fact, I'll put that on the table and I will go ahead and use that. And the only reason I'm using this is because my images are dry. I stamped them earlier. So you would never use this brayer on wet stamped images or you'd smear your images all over the place. I'm using Whisper White cardstock, which is a really good cardstock for ink absorption. I'm going to go ahead and load the mat. Okay, I'm just going to load it but I always keep one hand like this when I load the mat one hand on the brother scan and cut so that the mat doesn't slip okay I'm using this button here to load the mat and it went in straight now I'm just gonna go ahead and say start and it's recognizing those butterflies for us normally I would you know just stamp an entire page of butterflies because I have so many projects and you would cut them all out at once because just to be more productive. Okay, they, it recognized the butterflies. I'm gonna go ahead and say okay. And it recognized every butterfly, which is what I wanted. Now, we can ignore these small objects in a few ways. We, we could first go in here to ignore object size and we could ignore them. And you can just ignore any small objects and you'll watch them disappear. However, 
it's just a lot easier to ignore them just by not selecting them. So just go ahead and select your butterflies only and you won't have to mess with a lot of those small objects. Okay, and so I just want to scan that portion where my butterflies are. And then lastly, I'm going to uh, put an outline distance on the butterflies of 0.04, which will give us a little bit of a white border around each butterfly. I'm going to say OK. I'm going to say OK again. And I'm going to cut. All the small objects were ignored because I didn't select them. I'm going to say cut. And it's just going to go ahead and cut. Now, I should have mentioned, let me stop and mention this because it's important that I use a blade depth of four and I also need to change it to four. So if you're using Whisper White cardstock, use a blade depth of four for your cutting blade. And I'm just gonna put that back in. You can say start and, and stop and start again. And all it does is just, the blade goes back to the beginning because that's my setting and it'll just cut for you. So if you have the wrong blade depth, just stop, change your blade depth and cut again. No big deal. In fact, it's never a big deal. We're just using stamped images here. Later, I'm going to show you how I added a little splash of color to each of these using my in-color markers by stamping up. This is what the outline distance is going to give us, this 0 0.04. All right, it looks like it's finished, so just so you don't miss anything, I'm pulling the machine back. We say OK. It says finish cutting. OK, unload the mat. OK, unload the mat. OK, there we are. And now you can get these off in a number of ways. You can use the little spatula that came with your brother's scan and cut. Or you can just, in this case, remember I, I mentioned how my mat was not very sticky, and that's why I'm using painter's tape. So in this case, I can just bend the mat a little, and up they come. See, all my little butterflies. Let's put that on the painter's tape so you can see how cute that is, the contrast. So um, now, I have dies, and they're wonderful die set that comes with this, but am I going to use it to cut out my stamped images? Heck no, because my machine is a lot faster. So there's a reason to use metal dies, which I'll show you later, but there's a reason not to. And when you can do something a lot faster and more productive with your machine, then, I mean, I say go for it. So I use both metal dies and I use my scan and cut. But if I have a, die, if I have a coordinating die with this stamp, which I do, and some don't, but I mean, if you do and you still have a scan and cut, then, I mean, use what's faster, right? Hello. People ask me that all the time. They say, you know, Paper Chef, do you still get, you know, do you still get um, dies? Well, yes, I still get dies, but I use them for more, the, the, more of the intricate things and I use them less for, you know, I, I use them for the intricate things, but when I'm cutting out stamped images, I, I hardly ever use dies unless, you know, I, except for a Stamparatus trick I have where I cut out a bunch of blank images and I can show you that trick later. All right, so now we are on to, we are on to sentiments, okay? Now I do not have a die to match this sentiment. This is a perfect sentiment to cut out with the stand, scan and cut. These are perfect. Why? Because they're script sentiments. So when I don't have to sit and try to connect these, they're already connected in one big image. That makes it perfect for using for the scan and cut. So we just lay that on the mat, piece of painter's tape to hold that down. And now we're gonna cut out the stamped images, uh, the stamped sentiments. Okay, I'm gonna pull this machine back. I'm gonna go back to home. Okay, home, center that home. I'm deleting all the stuff we've done already. And I'm just gonna say, okay. And we're gonna go to uh, let's see, scan again, direct cut, machine, black and white, recognition mode, and I'm just going to load the mat. You already, you already know how I do that. Load the mat, and, okay, start. Okay, viewers are always asking me how to cut out stamp sentiments, and the trick is, if it's not already a script font, you have to connect those stamp sentiments with a pencil, but I'm so happy that these are already scripted because it makes it so easy for us to cut them out. The reason I didn't scan these and cut these out with the butterflies is because I want a different outline distance around these than I wanted with the butterflies. Three out of four isn't bad, and usually I had four last time, but that's okay. We're gonna select the ones that got scanned in. I'm just gonna select that area. I'm gonna add an outline distance this time of 0 0.08, okay? Because, because <coughs> They're easier to work with when you have a bigger outline distance. 
it's the size that I experimented with. And I'm going to say OK. And I'm going to get rid of that little bit of extra selected part using my stylus. I'm just going to I'm just going to go into this editing mode, and I'm selecting part of this word here. I'm trashing it. You see, it's red. It's selected. This is how you toggle between what is selected or not. That right now is selected. Let me zoom in and show you. It's only part of a word. I can cut that word just by moving it to another part of the mat. So therefore, I'm I'm going to get rid of that so I don't mess up half this word. Thanks. Okay, I'm going to zoom back out. Oh, I'm sorry, I zoomed back in. That was, let me just say, okay, I don't need to zoom back out. All right, so let's say trash that little bit of the word. Now I'm going to cut out one, two, three sentiments, okay, and I'm going to just say cut. I'm cutting a 0 0.08 outline distance for a couple of reasons. I, I experimented with it, and it, it looked nice at 0 0.08, but also I like to use dimensionals, and I don't want to have to cut them all the time. I like it when they just fit behind my sentiments and things. So I was like, how, how big do I need to make the outline distance so I can put a dimensional behind it without, you know, without fighting? All right, you already know the next part where I just say unload the mat, yada, yada. Okay, look, see what I mean? I have a nice, beautiful, here, let's put that on the blueberry bushel ink. Okay, so do you see what I mean? I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put a dimensional on that and it will be hidden because it's big enough, see? That's why I made them that 0 .08. Also, I just like how it looks. And it, I think it looks nice on the bookmarks which I made. Okay, so you can decide on the outline distance you want. But you, for scripted uh, sentiments, you at least need a 0 .04 or you're gonna like start cutting into your letters. All right, so now let's go ahead. I already said I'm gonna unload the mat and say okay. And, you, and that's a review for you because you've already seen me do that. So anyway, bend the mat a little bit, get them off. There's our hellos. So, so far we've done, we've cut out stamped images, we've cut out butterflies, we've cut out stamped images, we've cut out sentiments from this Beauty Abounds stamp set. And now we're going to address my viewer's question, Frenchie, who asked, she said that she was trying to cut out the long, the long sentiment from the Beauty Abounds stamp set, and this is uh, the, long, the long image, she said, I'm trying to cut out the long image, I've even connected the lines like you showed me, and it still doesn't work. So I'm just going to show you some tricks, you know, tips and tricks for cutting out something like this on your brother's scan and cut. But before I do that, I need to show you how it will not work. Because it's really hard to get this in your head. Like why, like, unless you see it not working, you're not going to be able to understand why it does work. So I think just as a little teaching tool, I'm going to go ahead and load this in, try to scan it and show you that it doesn't work. Okay. And I'm, then I'll explain why and because we have such thin lines. Okay, so let's just go ahead and put that there. I'm going to load the mat, using my, putting my hand there. And I'm going to go back to home. And let's put this in the... I'm just going to go home. All right. It's kind of washed out my image here. I'm going to say OK. And I'm going to say scan, direct cut, machine. And I'm going to scan this in just like Frenchie did and we're gonna see how it doesn't scan it just doesn't recognize it as one image there's just too many little dots there's too many fine lines we need to sort of enclose this in and make it one big image not a big deal we can fix this okay I'm gonna say okay now look nothing nothing scanned in you might get frustrated and say why did I buy a scan and cut I'm trying to scan and cut stamped images, nothing. Just a few little things got selected here. Let me focus that. Okay, so just a bunch of nothingness. So let's just go ahead and now um, unload the mat, say okay, and we're gonna fix that situation. So the, to fix that situation, you're gonna take a pencil. I'm just gonna zoom in and you can watch me draw. I'm not an artist. In fact, the artist is the one who made these stamped images. So. I want to just enclose their beautiful stamped image using pencil marks. So you take your pencil and you go around and you get something for the scan and cut to recognize. It needs, it needs lines. It needs solid lines. So I'm enclosing in all these gaps. Even this little gap here with the little curly cue. Enclose in that gap. Enclose in this gap. Okay, everywhere you see a gap. Um, I think this tail part's okay. Let's see. I'm just going to enclose that. Wherever you want to have the scan and cut trace around, you're enclosing the gaps. 
Now, I'm not saying this works 100% of the time, so that's why I have two stamped images, because we're going to do both, and then one of them should work. At least, maybe both will work. And if not, you just have to go back and do a couple extra little pencil marks. I'm going to go from here to here. No big deal. I like this little gap, so we'll put... Okay. And it, just so you can see what I did, I have, I have enclosed all these little dots these little dot areas and these little gaps between the flowers. And I made it one big image for the scan and cut to recognize. Okay, I'm gonna do the same over here because that's how I roll. I always have a couple coals in the fire, as they say. We have to just, what is it? Not put all our eggs in one basket. We're gonna try it, both of these and hopefully they work. Let's cover that little gap. So wherever there's a gap, we're helping the scan and cut out. We're helping it. We're, we're saying this is one big image where we're outlining the out of it, outer, outer side of it. Now, I probably shouldn't be putting my hand right on the mat while I draw, but that's okay. Um, normally, you should just outline these on a table first and not, not putting your hand all over the sticky mat. All right, so I think um, let's just, I'm going to have faith and say both of these are going to work, but at least one. All right, being realistic, I'm going to say at least one. So we'll, we'll see how it goes because if not, we fix it because we're crafters. We have to go, we have to roll with it. So now I'm going to load the mat and I'm going to load the mat and I'm going to go back to that home button and so, so you don't miss anything. We're just going to scan again. Whoa, I better zoom out. <laughs> Sorry about that. Zooming out. Okay, so here we are. We're at scan, direct cut, machine start and yes it's probably good to get some painters tape I usually don't reuse painters tape too much but this piece is still okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna stick that on there after it scans just so it doesn't slip while it's cutting put a little piece of painters tape on there maybe on each side try not to reuse painters tape too much because it will stop make you know it won't make your thing sticks it will stop everything will stop sticking is what I'm trying to say all right so let's say okay Perfect, both of those got recognized this time. Okay, so this is a good thing. And now what do we need to do? We need to just zoom in to show you that. Okay, zoom in again, and it's, it's beautiful. So whenever you have problems, you, don't, you might not have this stamp set. You might have other stamp sets, and you're like, you just can't get them to scan in. There, okay, that's one big image, and that's beautiful. So now we're also gonna put an outline distance around it so you can actually see. So there we have images. Outline distance. Okay, 0 0.04, you could, you could even go to 0 0.08 for such an intricate image, but I think 0 0.04 is going to be fine. I'm going to say okay. And it's rather than trying to delete all those little small bits, instead just, just simply, you know, zo zoom into the area you want to cut. And I'm going to say okay, preview. And then I can just manually delete any extra little bits using the editing mode, which I'll show you. All right, so there's just a four little stray bits. So editing mode, that is the part where the shapes are. Okay, there was a stylus at one time on my table just a minute ago. Here it is, here it is. So you take your, you go into this, this shapes mode, okay. Okay, I don't want it to be too washed out. Okay, you go here to shapes and you go in and you say trash. Okay, trash, okay. I'm just deleting the straight bits, why? because we don't want to waste time cutting stuff that's not part of our stamped images. Say okay and cut. Now at this point, just reminder, we're using a whisper white cardstock, remember? And we are using a blade depth of four. I've cut a few things, the blade sometimes rattles, rattles meaning vibrates, and it goes back to a little bit beneath four, so just check it. Make sure it's still on four if you're doing a lot of work and get it back to four. And. Um, you know, at that point, when I usually take my blade out of the blade holder, that's when I'm usually sharpening my blade, doing things like that. So I've done that on other tutorials. So be sure to check that out. Okay, it's cutting. See, it's doing a great job. It's cutting. And we'll just, at this point after that, we're just going to unload the mat. Getting out my handy eraser. Okay, we're ready to fix. Okay, let's unload the mat. 
and I'm done with the scan and cut for now. So now just stick around. I'm going to show you how I fix this, how I would then embellish with these, and et cetera, et cetera. So let's zoom in. You never want to use the end of a pencil. Never, ever, ever. When you're crafting, never use the end of a pencil like the pink eraser. It'll just smear all over your page and you'll have like a big hot mess. So instead, use the Pentel eraser or any white eraser. I'll have a link to this in the description, but it's good to use this kind of eraser. I do it while it's still on the, you know, mat usually, but definitely don't do it, you know, you could do it on your table, but you know, you, I'm just doing it while it's still on the mat. So, I mean, what I'm saying is don't do it after you take it off because it's like, it's easier to do while you still got your outline distance. So I'm just giving a little bit of a, now remember I told you I used blueberry bushel which is, you know, one of our classic ink colors. Well, I let it dry. So you, of course, I would say, when you stamp and then you scan, like let 15 minutes go by. Don't try to just stamp, um, cut it out, and then try to start erasing because you really want your images to dry. And they say the ink is quick dry, but I, I find that I need to wait like 15 minutes. Okay, I've erased that one good, really good. And I'm just erasing the pencil marks. Okay, so then when I pull them out, you can see how beautiful these images are. And, and then you can just do all kinds of stuff with them. I've colored those with markers. And I made some projects, which I'll show you. And I also incorporated some of our free products that are free right now during celebration. All right, I'm getting blowing the erasers. Okay, onto the floor. Okay, so anyway, there we go. So now we take off this tape, and now we have these beautiful, intricate stamped images, which you can use for all kinds of projects, like the bookmark projects I will show you. So again, just, you know, you tilt, you, they come right off. There we go. And zoom out. Beautiful. Bending the mat a little bit, getting these off. Okay, so here are our stamped images. And here's everything we've done. You can look at that while I show you projects. Here's our beautiful butterflies. Here's our sentiments. Okay, here's some more. Here's some more I've done earlier. So, as you can see, and there's one I put. The scan and cut is useful for all kinds of things. For this one, we just used a point zero four outline distance. For this one, we used a point for the thanks. Let's zoom back out here. Zoom for the hello and the thanks. We used a point zero eight outline distance. And for these, we had to use pencil marks to enclose in all the gaps. I see there's one little pencil mark there still, right there. But that's okay. I'll erase that later. You get the idea. Okay. So now we're ready to embellish. And here are the kinds of projects you can make. All right, so to review, because we've, you know, it's been a long video. So I went into the occasions catalog. This is our occasions catalog. And I said that I'm using the Beauty Abound stamp set. Okay, I also, I also addressed, I, I said that, okay, this, this is the one we cut out and the two butterflies and the thanks and the hello. Then I said, there's coordinating dies. Now the coordinating dies are down here. They're so intricate that I would never use the brother scan and cut to try to cut out something like this. I, so let me show you the dies, and then I'll show you all my projects, okay? I have these coordinating dies. There's, there's lots of intricate butterflies, but this is, this is really the most gorgeous thing about them, are these dies here. Okay, so this is done with a big shot machine. Okay? And then, I mean, look what you can do. I mean, this is just wowza, wowza, wowza. Okay, this has two, so you, you run the dies through two layers. You, you do one, the outline, and then you do the inside. And so I used, I used what's called, um, well, this is pineapple punch, pineapple punch and gingham gala paper in back there. And then I'm using some free products. So I, I, this is some free foil paper from our celebration catalog. So I'm just gonna show you like my projects I made using butterflies from the suite, including the stamped images we just cut out. But I wanna show you that this, this foil, sheets are gorgeous for cutting out butterflies. Grapefruit Grove and Lovely Lipstick. So that's how I made that card. Now I want to thank my friend Annette because 
it took us a long time to make this card, maybe a couple hours, because it took me so long to figure out what colors to use and what went well together. And she helped me poke out all those little holes. Even though I have a, you know, a brush, a dye brush that you roll over and get rid of, um, it, I, I wasn't using wax paper like my sister taught me, so we had to like poke out all these little holes with a pokey tool, and she poked them all out for me yesterday. So like, thank you to my friend Annette for helping me come up with like such amazing card. Okay, so not only does it feature this, this foil from our celebration catalog, but I also featured, this is Lasting Lily, it's another free product. So this is free when you buy $50 or more with this stuff, this lovely lipstick foil, but this is free when you buy 100 or more worth of stuff. Right now during celebration, we have all these like great deals going on. And this is where I got these wonderful, wonderful sentiments from the Lasting Lily stamp set. Okay, so there's, there's items during celebration that you can earn for free. Okay, so there's the Lasting Lily stamp set. All right, so anyway, back to the ones we've scanned and cut. So then I did, um, this is a bookmark I made using the stamped images that we were just scanning and cutting from this tutorial. So I used the sentiments on the bookmark and I used a blueberry bushel. That's the color I used here, blueberry bushel. Same over here, because those are in colors. Okay, the in colors this year, like the 2018 to 2020 in colors. So I, I did color a little bit with these markers on these. So I just, I mean, this is just a two color bookmark, very simple. Grapefruit Grove, Grapefruit Grove. Um, what is this stuff called here? Let's see. This is called designer series paper. So in color designer series paper. I've used it for many projects. So this little in color designer series paper was on top of the, the cardstock. I used some nature's twine, grapefruit grove nature's twine and some burlap for the top of that bookmark. Let's make some room so you can kind of see that on a table a little better. All right, so you can make a simple bookmark using all the things we just showed you with the little, you know, with the different cutouts. Or you can go one step further taking one of the free products, okay, from Celebration. And this is another free product, okay? And I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, so I'm very, very proud of these pro products and how they coordinate so well. And so I'd love to show you how, they, how to use this. So one of the free things you can get when you spend $50 or more are these, these butterfly elements. And so I just took them out of the package Honestly, today I haven't been playing with them yet, and I just simply added some to my bookmark. So you have a bookmark here without the butterfly elements. Using our scan and cut, we've cut out the stamped images, and it looks beautiful. Now take the same bookmark and add some butterfly, add some wooden elements to it, and now you got a whole different bookmark. You got a whole. It takes it to a whole new level. Let me focus that. And here are the elements. They're just in a. They're in a package. They're just. There's 84 of them, and like I said, they're free. And I popped them in my cart last time because I bought some, you know, I was like, oh, let's buy something or one of the times. And there they are. And there's a couple more sheets somewhere. So what I did is, here, here's a couple more. And I just simply take my marker and I just took my ink color markers. Da -da -da. Okay, here we go. And I just simply color them while they're still on, while they're still on there, okay? And then you, then you pop them out onto your bookmark. And then you have these beautiful coordinated elements. I know they coordinate because I'm using the in colors. And I colored, see, the wooden elements. And then you just use glue to stick them on as opposed to dimensionals. Oops. All right, I, you gotta be more gentle so they don't break. Okay, but you get the idea. Here, we'll do one in yellow. We'll do a flower. Not yellow, pineapple punch, coordinating color. Because they pop out a lot easier than the flowers and you don't wanna be, you wanna be gentle. Okay, so you pop them out um, after you, after you color them in, and you gotta kind of wiggle them, they're really nicely laser die cut. Okay, beautiful. And then you can put them on your projects. So it just adds, like, wooden elements add something to your projects, especially when they coordinate. Okay, another, another project we, I did was, um, this, this is the bookmark I made using the technique that Frenchie asked me about, and the one that I just showed you. Okay, that's the Brother Scan and Cut, Beauty Abounds. I colored it using in color markers. I used, again, Blueberry Bushel, Grapefruit Grove, Designer Series Paper from the In Colors. And then I just did little splashes of color, Lovely Lipstick, Pineapple Punch, Call Me Clover. Basically, you just use all of the In Colors and you know they're gonna match because that's color theory for you. I mean, the, the Stampin' Up! does a lot of research on what colors coordinate together and, and how they go together, and that's why we know it's gonna match well. 
Okay, and lastly, this is my favorite, my personal favorite, is I took, I took this, this free foil paper that, I, that just came in, the foiled cardstock, I mean, and I just love the iridescence. And I just took the lovely lipstick and I used the, the dyes to cut them out and then I used the, I made a little bookmark using my tag punch. Okay, I'll link to my materials. And I just, you know, I didn't even use any of the stamped images I cut out with the scan and cut for that. I just used the dyes. So there's a reason to use dyes. Dyes are more intricate, and there's things you can do with dyes you can't do with stamp, with the scan and cut. But on the other hand, if I have a, you know, if I have a die like this, I'm not going to use it probably because I'm going to use my scan and cut to cut out the stamped images. These are the only two dies in the entire set that coordinate with the stamp set directly where you cut out the stamped images. And I didn't use those two, but I used every other one of these. I've already cut them out for my projects. Okay, well, thank you for watching. And I hope you um, enjoy this Beauty Abounds suite of products, and I hope you check it out in our Occasions catalog. If you need a catalog, please use the contact form beneath this video in the description. Bye for now. This is the Paper Chef.